This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. Sometimes it is easy to know what to do or what not to do because some actions are always wrong. For example, lying is always wrong, murder is always wrong, embezzlement is always wrong. Yet many moral situations are more difficult to discern. How do I address the situation with my coworker who is failing to do his work and is harming everyone else on the team? How do I discipline my children without being too harsh or too lenient? In situations like these, we need to seek wisdom or become a wise guy. In my last three messages on our mystery tour, we reflected on the theological virtues, faith, hope, and charity. In this and the next three messages, I would like to reflect on the four cardinal virtues, prudence, temperance, justice, and fortitude. All these virtues are skills that help us to live the moral life well. The term cardinal comes from a Latin word meaning hinge, so the cardinal virtues are the four main virtues on which all the other virtues are hinged. In this light, we will begin our reflection on prudence, which is the virtue that helps us to know our true good in every circumstance and to choose the right means of achieving it. In other words, prudence helps us to be truly wise. So how do we grow in prudence? Experience is the best teacher. Think about times you were in similar situations. Remember what you did and how it turned out. If this is a new situation for you, consult a trusted person with experience. Another way to grow in prudence is to consider the different options available from an eternal perspective. Ask yourself these questions. When I am at the point of death and look back on my life, what choice would I have wanted to make in the present situation? When I stand before God on Judgment Day and look back on my life, what choice would I have wanted to make in the present situation? In addition, the more we keep doing the right action, the better our judgment becomes. Not all situations in life are difficult. Much of the time, the right action is pretty clear. Keep doing what is good. The more we ignore what is right and do wrong instead, the more our judgment becomes darkened. If we keep throwing junk into the drawer, it gets harder and harder to find what we are looking for. Finally, read the lives of the saints and look for similar situations in their lives and how they handled them. The saints are models of the virtues. Be confident that God does not leave us alone. Rather, he helps us to know the right thing to do. The Holy Spirit's gift of counsel helps us to know the right thing to do. Pray for this gift. Mary, seat of wisdom, pray for us. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.